one sample t-test how to run it how to interpret it and how to report it now one sample t-test is used when one has got the population mean and the researcher or the scholar would like to know whether the sample drawn out from the population actually belongs to the population and that the sample can be generalized to the population or not now following are few instances in which one sample t-test would be appropriate for example, a country has per capita income of $1,000. A sample of 100 is collected from a city of the country. Now, in theory, the sample of 100 should have uh, a per capita income of $1,000 on average. So the researcher would like to use one sample t-test in order to check whether this sample actually represents the population or not. An organization produces or a company produces certain products and they've got certain a specification on which the products are produced. Now, a quality control supervisor would like to know if the dimensions of the particular product have changed significantly, maybe due to any number of mechanical reasons, from the original specifications. In each of the above mentioned scenarios, we have given a given population mean. So you will have a given population mean. In this case, this is $1,000, and in the second case, it will be the original specification for the product. And then the data is collected from the sample and then the sample data is collected or sorry the sample data is compared to the population mean when using one sample t-test you must know the mean of the population that is called the test value and we'll use blue sky statistics in order to run one sample t-test now here is a data per capita data collected from around 100 respondents from a city and the researcher would like to know whether this sample belongs to the population or not. So in order to do this, what we'll do is we'll go to analysis, means, t-test one sample. Here is our selected variable per capita and your hypothesis, the population mean does not equal the sample mean. The population mean is greater than the sample mean. The population mean is less than the sample mean. So these are your alternate hypothesis. So let's say we do not make it directional and we select that population mean is not equal to sample mean. This is your alternate hypothesis. So your null hypothesis would be that there is no significant difference in per capita income of the sample and the test population or the population mean. Press OK. And here are your results. So your one sample statistics results, your mean, your sample size, your standard deviation, standard error of mean, and these are your significant results. In this case, yes, there are significant differences in the sample and the population mean. So let's copy this and let's use it for our results. Uh, let's, okay. So here are your results. If you want to copy this, again, just right click on it, export to Word, Excel, PDF, so whatever is feasible for you. So let's go for the reporting of results. Here is how you can report the results. The problem is to check if per capita income of the city equals the per capita income of the country. The null hypothesis is there is no difference in the per capita income of the people of Peshawar and per capita income of Pakistan. The alternate hypothesis is there is a significant difference in per capita income of people of Peshawar and per capita income of Pakistan. So one sample t-test was utilized to assess if per capita income in the city of Peshawar differs, differs significantly in comparison to per capita income of the country that is Pakistan. So the descriptive statistics showed that okay this is your average so where is your average 1107.76 1107.76 and that is in terms of dollars so let's put it here and your standard deviation from the sample is 271.29 271.29 so this is the average salary of the sample the results reveal a significant difference in sorry for the typo per capita income of the city of Peshawar in comparison to per capita income of Pakistan so where is your T statistics so if, if if this would have been insignificant we would have written insignificant here in this case it is significant 
So you have degrees of freedom and t value degrees of freedom is 99 and minus 1 and t value is 3.97. Seven, and your p-value is point zero 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 one. It is less than point zero zero one, so let's use this. It, it, it's even significant at point one percent. So hence average per capita income of the city is significantly different from average per capita income of the country this shows that the sample does not represent the population because there are significant differences so your h1 is supported here in the table you can report all these details uh, just copy them from here and put them here let me make the changes lower 1053.92 and upper is 1161.59 so this is how you can run one sample t-test in blue sky statistics and report the results thank you very much